Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I am going to explain about the third data type called hashes. Hash is a set of key value pairs. To declare a hash, use the symbol percent followed by the hash name equal to and then give the key value pairs enclosed in brackets. To relate the key to the value, use the symbol equal to followed by the greater than symbol. Now, to access a value from key, you have to use dollar symbol and then the hash name and close the key name in curly braces. As value is nothing but a scalar, we have to use a dollar symbol. To extract keys from a hash, use the keyword called keys followed by the hash name. This will result in array of keys. Next is to extract values from a hash, use values keyword followed by the hash name. This will result in values array. Next is how to check whether a key exists in a hash or not. For this, there is a function called exists. You can check this way. Just use exists and then give the dollar hash name, key name enclosed in curly braces. You have to use exist function in decision conditioning statements while to check whether a key exists or not in a hash. To check the hash size, get the keys of the hash or get the values of the hash and this will result in an array. Now find the size of the array. Next is to add a key value pair. To add a key value pair, just use dollar hash name followed by the key name enclosed in curly braces and then assign the value. Now to delete a key value for pair, use delete function followed by the hash name and key name has to get enclosed in curly braces. Now let us take a practical example. To create a hash, use the symbol percentile followed by the hash name. Brackets must be used to add the key value pairs. To relate the key and value, use the symbol equal to followed by the greater than symbol. Each key value pair has to be comma separated. Let us see how to access the value using key. As the value is nothing but a scalar, use dollar symbol followed by the key enclosed in curly braces. For example, to access the value of the key unix, just give a dollar symbol followed by the hash name and enclose the key in curly braces. Let us now test it. The value of that key is extracted from the hash. For accessing the keys of a hash, use keyword keys followed by the hash name. Always remember space have to be given after keys keyword. This will result in an array. Let us test it. We can see all the keys in an array. For accessing values, just replace the keyword keys with values. Let us verify it. We can see all the values in an array. To check whether a key exists in a hash, use exists function. Use if condition along with exists. For example, to check whether a key LDAP exists in a hash, I'm just printing a message like exists. Else not exists. Let us test it. The key LDAP does not exist. To use not exist function, just use an exclamatory mark before exist function. I'm checking for an existence of key Java and going to change the messages. Let us verify it. The key Java exists in the hash. 
to find the size of a hash get the size of the keys or values we already have saved the keys and values in separate arrays so from the arrays we can get the size of the hash let us test it the size of the hash is 4 and we have got in two ways to add a key value pair to a hash do it like this my key is called oracle and assigning a value of 2 let us verify whether this key value pair got added by accessing the key the key value pair got added to delete a key value pair use delete function we can just verify it by using exists function The key which has deleted does not exist. 